everyone, I'm Holly and welcome to Pack and Chat Part 2 for the beach release. We just finished packing four in the previous video and I'm going to pack four into this one as well. So this first order is going to Melissa in Indiana. Thank you so much for your order, Melissa. We have a couple of orders that we're combining. She snuck in an order for a Caribbean cocktail right there at the end. So it's going to make it into this package and then um, I'll have to work on a shipping refund for the second order. So what do we have here? Let's put in, we have the Sea Mist Sea Salt Soap. Love that one. And we have a Mango Milk Sea Salt Soap. Again, it's not much to look at from here, but it does have a half layer of a pretty orangey slash coral color. We have the Caribbean cocktail. That's feeling a little, that's a little too snug for there. So we're going to put in the Mountain Spruce. It's just good soap. Now the It's Just Good Soaps are made very simply there's no milk in it. I do add in a palm oil, but it is certified fair trade and sustainable by Fair for Life and Palm Done Right. So there is a place for truly sustainable palm. So I do use it in this batch. It helps to bring the price down a little bit. So this is kind of a more of a budget soap. We have the Mountain Spruce and a Berry Bliss. Now normally I have four cents, but I just added a fifth. Very exciting. Last summer, no, two summers ago probably. I wonder if I could figure it out. Hold on. Get my phone, look at my doggo. Isn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> I just love that dude. Okay, let me go to my Instagram. Oh, there's Duke the Doberman. Let's see. I'm going to scroll through my Instagram here for a minute and see if I can find the picture. Oh, it takes so long. Oh, man. Why, did, why does this stuff happen? There's pictures of my poor Doberman everywhere I go. Every time I scroll through my Instagram, I'm just like, golly, this stuff is beautiful. I just love it. And I've been debating whether I'm going to do those again this year or not. I can't decide if I'm doing that or not. Okay. Okay, go back. Doot, doot, doot. Ooh, feels like it was right in here, but nope. Anyway, I do. I scroll through and I think, my goodness gracious, this stuff is cool. <laughs> Ooh, here's the uh, <laughs> making the light solution for Spike Cider. I'm actually getting ready to make that next week. So that's fun. La 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 la. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, I call it, I couldn't figure out what I called it. Apparently I called it buttermilk and blue jeans. And it's that scent. It's not that design or anything, but it's that scent. My gosh, that was a beautiful picture. <laughs> Anywho, it's it's that scent. And it's a mixture of patchouli, vanilla sugar, jasmine, and soft musk. And it's very, very good. I'm going to cover those salt soaps like so. So yeah, it's going to be fun having that fifth scent. I don't know if I mentioned it in the first, but I haven't been able to get a hold of my mountain spruce scent. So it's not going to be back, I don't think, but we'll see. Depends on how fast I can get it in and if I can get a batch made and curing before the September release. Okay, so we have the Caribbean cocktail. And we have banana coconut. I oh, love this one. Kind of leans towards a candy-like banana. And then I'm just... I just want to add a little level here. And then we have some of the rainbow pear bears. I made so many of these for the rainbow <laughs> release, so 
There's still just a little bit left, I think, over there. We're pretty slim, but we're not sold out. So I encourage you, if you are in the market for some handcrafted soap and goodies, that you would go check out my website, moriversoap.com. I'm going to put in a black raspberry vanilla sample and cover that window. And this shred does help to insulate these wax melts. So that's really good. And then we're going to put in a, a blueberry lavender wax melt sample. I really didn't make so many of those. I had uh, screwed up a regular batch. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I like miscolored it or something. So that's why I have so many of those left over from the last release. Okay, so I'm not gonna close this one up because I do need to write on the invoice still. So. I will see you back here for the next one. All right, so this package is going to Nancy in Canada. Thank you so much, Nancy. I got the most wonderful message on this order, and Nancy does uh, comment on a lot of my videos, and I so appreciate it, so thank you so much. It's just so much fun when you see those names come across that you're used to seeing. We have two Caribbean cocktail soaps. I had this box all prepped for another order and then I had to unpack it all. So it's a little extra wrinkly, but it's gonna be wrinkly anyway. We have two of the Hawaiian Dreams. And we have two of Margarita Lime. I love this one, it's so good. It's what I'm using in my bathroom at the moment and every time I use it, I think, oh, you are refreshing. We have a banana coconut and a jasmine pineapple. That's perfect. You see how perfect that is? It's delightful. Hopefully it works out. So then we have two of the sea mist soaps and they should just fit right up here just perfectly. We have a Hawaiian Dreams sea salt scrub. I will probably go back to sugar for the next release, but we'll see. All right, so now we have four bath bombs that we need to make sure that fit all in here nicely because I do want to give them um, plenty of padding. So let me think this through for a momento. This one's going to be on a bit of a long haul, so I am going to use a little extra packaging for it. I'm going to, you can't really see, but I'm just going to wrap a piece of this Eco Craft Bakery tissue sheet things. <laughs> like if you would go to the bakery, get a donut or what have you. So I just wrap that around the label. I'm just going to put it right here. If it's quite nicely and then hmm I want plenty of room for the bath bombs is what I'm getting at here that is considerably better so now I'm just going to lay down these soaps here and we're going to cover them up Like so. Okay, that looks good. And let's start in with making a, a cushiony place for the bath bombs to be. Oh, I need to get my little strips. So I've cut some strips of the stretchy paper, which is the green, I think they call it green wrap from ecoenclosed.com. I think other people have it as well. It's like the box says Ran Pack Gammy. I don't know if that's how you say it. Wrap Pack is what it says, but I think Eco Enclosed calls it Green Wrap. 
I did not bring enough of those. Weird. That is odd. Did I show you the Hawaiian dreams? I don't think I did. Anyway, super cute bath bomb. Pink, yellow, blue. I love it. I actually planned to have more bath bombs, but then, I don't know, it was just too hot, too humid, things weren't working out super well, so I decided, you know what, these two kinds are delightful, and we'll just go with the two. Let's just do it this way. Alright, so I'm going to put one, two... Three, four. And I think I just need to kind of off center them, or you know, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So now I like to, I just start with some cushion around the edges. And then I have to start tucking it in and I kind of get it underneath that um you know the more ouch rounded part at the bottom of the bath bomb so that it just has a nice happy cushion comfy place for its journey and what I do I also pinch and it really nests the bath bomb well. I'm going to go in. It's it's a feeling thing. It's not just visual. You can't just think that it's good. It's my responsibility to get the items where they're going safely. And if I don't package them appropriately, then I also won't be covered in the case of damage. So they're pretty hard. I'm pretty sure one could throw them on the floor and they would nothing would happen. So those are very snug. And then we're going to, golly, I can't remember to bring all the things. I just want to cover up the sea salt soap top. Nice. All right, this one is going to have a good and comfortable journey. I do mix these all the color, shred color myself, so sometimes it gets a little bit, a little bit off on the mixtures. I've noticed too that the craft mixture is a little different like texture than these colored, so the color seems to like drop out of it even though I have it all mixed up. So we're going to put in a black raspberry vanilla and yellow coconut cream. This is a nice big box and shipping is not inexpensive to Canada, especially in one of these. So I'm gonna give her that extra sample for sure. And I am not going to close this one up yet either because if there's any adjustments to the shipping, I'll want to note that and I will need to work on a customs form, etc. All right, I'll be back for another. This order is going to Daisy in Puerto Rico. Thank you for your order, Daisy. I just love it. I love all the places that my products go. I'm going to try to get this one into this 863. And we have the funny, the fun paper. And then my paper, I've had it folded, but it's, it's come undone. Okay, let's 
just try this. I think it'll all fit. We're going to put in the mango milk and the sea mist, sea salt soap. I'm going to try to get these to go here. So we have the jasmine pineapple and the sunny beaches. We're going to put the Caribbean cocktail soap there. Put a sprinkling of shred and then I'll shift it all over as much as I can. Maybe didn't need that much shifting. And then we're going to put in a Berry Bliss. I absolutely love this scent. It is so good. Now these bags have kind of frustrated me because they inhibit good concise packaging. I like square corners. <laughs> okay. So let's do a little cover for all of those to protect it from the shred. We're going to put a little bit of shred here. And then we have the rainbow pear bears again. Aren't they so cute? I love them. They won't be back for quite a long while. Probably be who knows what I'll do rainbows again. Be next year at least. Alright, so we're going to add just a little bit on top. Hopefully that'll insulate those bears nicely. We're going to put in a black raspberry vanilla soap sample. And then we're going to tuck in the blueberry lavender. Where should I tuck that in? Pretty snug right there. I think... Hmm. I actually think I'm going to put my soap sample right here. So that the wax can be right there. is they travel pretty quickly to Puerto Rico since they don't have to go through the same customs business. So we have our invoice and the business card. At least I don't think they go through the same custom stuff because I don't have to do anything customs wise for anything going to Puerto Rico. So here we have a cute package going to Daisy in Puerto Rico. And I will be back to pack one more. Okay, so this last order is going to Sandala. And we're shipping to Miami, but I believe she lives in St. Martin. And I'm going to use a regional rate box A. We'll see if it'll all go. I think it should. Gives me a little more, a little bit more room than a cube. I don't know why it's printed priority mail on the inside, like on every spot. Do you see that? Not quite sure why that's needed. Okay, now I feel like you're gonna get in my way again. So stretchy paper. Stretchy paper. We've got a little bit of tissue. I usually go both ways with tissue in the um, bigger boxes. We have the Hawaiian Dreams. It's 
scrub. Guys, this is my last order of the whole release. <laughs> Starting to get a little goofy because I'm like, whoa, I'm not done. Okay, we're gonna put in two sunny beaches. Let's see what else we got going on. So we have margarita lime and banana coconut. I'll have to make sure I have a spot for the bath bomb. We're gonna placeholder it right there so I don't forget. We're gonna do Caribbean cocktail and Hawaiian dreams. We're gonna go put in the tropical tango. This is like apple mango tango type. Really good. I'm gonna do that. That's making me so twitchy. There we go, a <laughs> little unnecessary, but it happened. So I don't know if I'm going to take tomorrow off or if I'm just going to get up here. I have a whole pile of dishes over there. And I have a bunch of soaps to unmold over there. And I have a bunch of soap videos to film with soap back there. And so, I have a lot to do actually. I probably should just take a day to wash dishes and film some of those videos, I think. I'm going to put the Margarita Lime Sea Salt Soap right here. And then this one, the Sea Mist will fit right there and it's perfect. And now we have all this fun space back here for the bath bomb so it'll just have all sorts of leg room over there on that side and to Hawaiian dreams so pretty I love it I've really gotten into this new show on Discovery Plus I love Discovery Plus I just love it Anywho, I think it was part of the Magnolia launch. And it is Family Dinner with Andrew Zimmer. I think it's Zimmer, not Zimmerman. Anyway, what a great show. Just family dinners. He goes and joins family for their, you know, their dinners and experiences a little bit of their culture. And I just think it's the coolest thing ever. I'm on an episode right now with a Russian woman, which is kind of fun. My uh, husband's grandmother was Russian. I never met her. Russian, Polish, I guess I'm not quite sure exact location. Um, where, the, where they were at the time. But it's just so cool. And my, it's funny because my son had watched some YouTube videos the other day about Russian cooking. And he's like, they like sour cream and beets. I was like, well, maybe that's why we eat beets with stroganoff. It's all coming together. <laughs> all right, that's looking really good. So I have a whole bunch of soap curing on the racks. And we may have to go take a look at that here in just a minute. But I have a whole bunch of soap curing. And I'm so excited because I'm getting ready to start my fall and holiday. It's just very exciting. I will, hopefully I'll have fall done by early next week, middle of next week, and then I should have uh, Christmas soaps made, hopefully by the end of August, at least by the whole Labor Day time frame. So lots going on, lots to do. I think I was gonna say that I originally planned on filming an intro for these videos and so you could see my beautiful face, but I had a headache and I like to add a little bit of makeup, you know, bring my presentation to you just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit higher than the way I normally am, but um, that stuff gives me a headache. So with the allergy 
headache and the heat and just like my neck tension I was just like we're just gonna have to skip it so the pictures are just gonna have to do it for today all right so we're gonna put in a black raspberry vanilla and the aloe coconut cream and I actually have a few samples left over for the next orders in with the business card and the invoice And we're just gonna get this all closed up. Normally that tucks in really nicely and holds and I don't have to fuss with it, but it's not doing that. So this one has a decent journey as well. It's just going to be stopping over in Miami and then continuing its journey. So here we have the final order packed for the pack and chat. I will move over. I see my battery is dead, so I'm like, oh no! I will move over and do a little. We'll do a little look at what's carrying. I'm taking a quick pause here for something that is very important, and I'm asking for your help. My close personal friend and fellow soap maker unexpectedly lost her husband a couple of weeks ago. You may know Mel from Body Care Boutique. She is a bubbly and wonderful person that has been very supportive and loving of others, not only in our community, but in every aspect of her life. Mel used to be very active on YouTube and with her business until it became necessary for her to step back to help her husband with some medical issues. Unfortunately, the sudden passing of her husband has created a very critical and scary financial future for our friend. New details arose that even further causes an unstable future. Our friend really does need our help. If you can donate in any way to the GoFundMe campaign, it would be so incredibly appreciated. Mel needs the time to grieve the loss of her husband, but now she also has the burden of moving and the lack of security that her husband provided as she was focused solely on taking care of him. I have seen this community rise up, do amazing things. I'm asking you, please let this be one of those occasions. I'll leave a link to the GoFundMe page in the video description. Help if you can. Thank you. Back to the video. All right, so we're looking at the curing racks and this one on the right is kind of empty. It's the last one I go to, but it's starting to fill up. So over here, I'm trying to use the tripod so it'll help me out a little bit. So let's see if I can, there we go. So these are the lemon rose water. So they have a little pink layer and a yellow layer. So you can see that. So I have a couple of trays of those. I used up everything I could for those. It got really blurry on me, so I had to really work on that for a second. So here we have some soap that needs to be cut. This was a special batch that I made. It's scented in high society. It's quite beautiful. I'll need to do a cutting on that one and we'll come over here up top we have green clover and aloe we have the new batch of sweetly clean the non rainbow version <laughs> some really weird samples going on right here you need to lay down dude jeez okay so we uh these are almost all well it's almost all samples there for figgy cream and then we have two full trays of figgy cream curing for the next release. I had a request for Wildberry Blizzard. So we've got a full tray of Wildberry Blizzard coming. We have Black Raspberry Vanilla. I guess we're needing to shift down a little bit. So here we have a big batch of Calendula Carrot. And then we have some samples. And here we have a full batch of the anise soap. It didn't end up as white this time. It's a little bit more, I don't know, grayish swirly. I was impatient that day. We have eucalyptus tea tree. This one is super pretty and I love how it smells. We have a batch down here of juicy soap. 
And then, let's see. Just a bunch of, I don't know if you can see that. Just a bunch of the, some testing ones that you'll see that soon, hopefully on the channel. This is the brand new It's Just Good Soap. The um, Buttermilk Blue Jeans one. But this one has no milk in it. It's just the Blue Jeans fragrance. And then clear down here, we have the Berry Bliss. So shifting over to this rack, we have a batch of Flannel and Amber. We've got Patchouli Rain. This is a batch of High Society Soap and it turned out not quite as I was expecting and it is a special order so I did remake it and the customer can choose what she wants. We have Strawberry and Champagne, River Rock, I'm going to set this down. So here we have, um, let's see, what do I call this one? So here we have the beesiest of knees. And we have the vegan version of oatmeal, milk, and honey. Scrolling down. We have cranberry limeade. I still have to do a lot of soap cutting videos. I worked really hard to get a lot of soaps made, even though I was packing orders, so that I could have all my regular release restocks done, and then I could move on to fall. So I'm pretty excited. This is just samples and some extra bars. This is wild. Can we see? Not very well. This one is wild elderberry and it's from the farmhouse collection. So it's made with goat milk and buttermilk. This is a batch of regular peach soap farmhouse. I think you're still seeing. <laughs> and then this is a batch of lemon for the farmhouse collection. So these are a new batch of peach sea salt soaps. They are layered pink and then the peach on the top. They're getting quite ashy, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on those. I did add a little extra water so I could have a better pour, and more water usually means more ash, etc. So I have those. Over here we have the lemon, it's just good soap. So even though it's very similar to the farmhouse collection, it does have a little different scent and it's the it's just good soap, etc. Over here we have the spring meadow for the It's Just Good Soap. And then I just have some more of the peach sea salt. So just taking a peek at what we have left. We have some Hawaiian Dreams, Banana Coconut, Margarita Lime. We have just some of the It's Just Good Soap. Not much going on there. The next row down we have the Sea Mist Bath Bombs. We have some aloe and coconut cream and some calendula coconut cream. We do have salt soaps left. So we have sea mist and the mango milk. And then down here we have some sea mist scrubs, the Hawaiian dream scrubs. We have some wax melts and some room and linen sprays over here, which you can't really see, but that's all that's left. But we have a lot coming on, so I hope you'll visit moriversoap.com if you're interested in getting any of this that we have left. Okay, so that's it. Thanks so much for an amazing release, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I have lots of work to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.